and that's medical applications. Uh, there's actually a, a, a lot of different applications for radioactive uh, isotopes uh, in healthcare, both in treating patients and then just fundamental research, like figuring out new drugs, figuring out new uh, pathways for diseases and things like that. But here's a, just one example that your book talks a, lot, a little bit about, a PET scan, okay? So you take your dog or your gerbil and you put it through this PET scan. No? It, it's just a dog or a gerbil. Cats go on the CAT scans. They're just, the pet is all encompassing except for cats. Cats have their own CAT scan. All right. No, a, a PET scan is a positron, has nothing to do with dogs, turns out. A PET scan is a positron emission tomography. So it's a positron emitter. That's what you're going to use. So you administer uh, some type of molecule that has a positron emitter atom. It's called radio labeling. So you synthesize a molecule with a radioactive isotope on it. Okay, and so there's lots of uh, positron emitters that are useful for organic or biological chemistry. Carbon 11, nitrogen 13, oxygen 15, fluorine 18. So essentially what you can do is you can administer, uh, give a patient a something like glucose, okay, with carbon 11 atoms on it, which are positron emitters. Now the glucose chemically is no different. Carbon atom is a carbon atom. It's going to is that your body's gonna treat that glucose exactly the same way. Doesn't know anything about it. But then, so it's gonna use that glucose, distribute it exactly like any other glucose molecule it is. But then, that carbon-11 is emitting those positrons, and as you know, they are the antimatter of the electron, okay? So antimatter particles, when they come into contact with each other, they annihilate each other. Now, that's, it's not often that you get to use the word annihilate, and it's like a good thing. But this is useful. So that positron reacts with an electron. And so no matter where you're at in your body, there's going to be electrons on the other molecules, other atoms. So it's going to run into an electron right away, wherever it's at. And they annihilate each other and produce gamma ray photons, energy. Okay, and so wherever that positron was emitted, it's going to emit a gamma ray, and then the PET scan is detecting that photon, that gamma ray photon. And wherever it, you know, was emitted, you know that's where that positron emitter was. And so what you can do, and this is, uh, you know, one image, so this was, you know, two images of a patient with Alzheimer's. And so the PET scan, the red spots mean higher concentration, blue spots mean uh, lower concentration. And so you can see, you can compare and contrast that, you know, there's different areas of this patient's brain where the molecule, if it's, I don't know if it's glucose in this one, whatever it is, is accumulating in different areas of the brain. So you can figure out things about where molecules are going in the body based on where those positrons are being emitted and those gamma rays eventually being detected in the PET scan.